welcome back to another video hey everybody welcome back to another video i know i haven't posted in a while um and by a while i mean it's like a week normally i said i was gonna be on this routine so i posted every week got everything done but due to a couple life events i did not have the ability to post last week but here we are this week i got a ring light i don't know if y'all can tell or not i probably can because i'm like super bright but hopefully y'all like it i decided i want to start taking like this content creating thing kind of seriously like of course i'm not expecting to blow up i'm just wanting to do something for fun but i have some big news which i will share with you all towards the end of the video just so y'all can stick around and actually pay attention but um this video is going to be preparing for finals i have finals coming up i have just a lot going on right now so I'm going to be showing y'all how I prepare for finals and how I get ready for finals. And we're going to study, of course, and just, you know, get our lives together. Okay, and for y'all who've been on my channel for a moment, y'all might be like, Brianna, where are you? Where are you now? Why are you on the floor again? Why are you at the desk on the floor again and not at your big desk? Well, for some reason lately, and I guess it's the location of my big desk, I have not been motivated to really do anything there. I'll sit there for a second and I'll try to force myself to do something, but I don't feel motivated. As y'all can see in previous vlogs, I actually go to different locations to study. And since I haven't really had the time or the opportunity to go to different places like a coffee shop or something, I feel like I have to just switch locations in the house to study to keep my attention and to keep me from getting bored instead of just looking at a wall. Um, like I said, right now I'm just at the foot of my bed sitting on the floor with the same table that y'all saw in the last vlog. And I'm just going to do some work here. So that was just a little side note in case anybody's wondering like where is she now? Why did her location change again? It's just because I need a change of location to help me focus. But yeah.
say that I was going to tell y'all how I'm preparing for finals this semester. Um, I guess I can go ahead and do it now since I just studied a little bit and I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling a little tired. I am not a night person anymore, y'all. I used to be able to stay up all night, but for some reason, as of late, I just cannot stay up very long. I need to work on that. Anyways, um, the first thing that I'm doing to prepare for finals is setting a schedule. If y'all saw my monthly reset at the beginning of the month, I have specific days to study for specific classes. So I would definitely say utilize that. And the second thing that I would say that I'm doing to prepare for finals is resting. And I say resting because all year, all semester, you've been going hard, you've been working hard, you've been just like continuously going, 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 going. And although it does feel good to know that you are getting things done and accomplishing so much, I also really believe that you can burn yourself out and you'll do more damage than good, if that makes sense. Like if you're continuously going, and this is something I've talked to a few people about, if you're continuously going, your body will begin to shut down. So something that I am personally practicing during this time is just learning when to rest, learning when to stop, learning when enough is enough and when to give my body a break. Another thing that I can say I would do is taking my mind off of academics. I have been trying to figure out what's a hobby that I like to do outside of studying because I know though studying does lead towards my future career goal it is not the best thing to do for I guess you could say my overall health so I actually have a few self-care books that I read for well I say self-care books but I have a few books that I actually want to read um the first one is called the feminism notes from the women that a movement for God. I got this book and I actually talked about this one and the other one. Y'all, I have not started on this book yet, quite frankly, because as stated, life happens. So this is actually gonna be the next book I read, but I really am interested in reading this one too. And this one as well, I think I found this one at Target and my mom actually told me about this book. She's like, you should do it. You care too much about people's opinion. You care too much about everything. You need to learn to read this book. And finally, last but not least, Atomic Habits. Now, I didn't even realize it until one of my friends brought it to my attention that all of these are like TikTok books. I am not on TikTok, so I had no idea. I'm not on TikTok at all. I went to Target and I just so happened to see. Like this one, one of my friends recommended. This one, as stated, my mom recommended. This one, I just saw it and read the back and was like, hmm, right up my alley. And this one, as stated, I'm reading the other book by her. So I was just like, I'm just going to go ahead and get this one as well. But reading has helped me to escape reality. So I feel like people should find a good balance between schoolwork and exercising self-care in some type of way. The last thing that I would say I'm doing to prepare for finals would be to pace myself. To elaborate further on what I'm saying, I say pace myself because I can get so far ahead. Like I can sit here for hours and study, 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 study. And it's like, I'm not pacing myself. I can do this for so long without a break because I just want to get it done. I want to retain all this information. But as stated, sometimes doing that, it does more harm than good. And I don't want that to be the case. I actually want to retain it. I want to remember it. I want to know what I talked about. I want to know what I read. I want to know in what ways this can help me in the future towards my career. So pacing myself or pacing yourself should be something that is just top notch on the list if nothing else is as stated. So that was rest, that was final a good balance, that was um, not overdoing it and pacing yourself. As stated, these are just my tips. Some people have other tips. Oh, and switching locations. As stated, I never study in one spot because I just cannot focus. So, yeah. <laughs>
Now for the important news and the big news that I was telling everybody about. I don't know if y'all knew about, well, I did tell y'all in the April reset blog that I wanted to apply for grad school. Well, I applied for grad school and not only did I apply for grad school, but I got into grad school and I was so nervous about sharing this with everyone because I'm like, what if things don't fall through? What if things doesn't go the way that I want it to? Which in that case, I just believe God is going to make it happen. But y'all, I am officially a MBA grad student. Yay, I'm an MBA grad student and my concentration is business intelligence. Of course, classes do not start until fall and I do have to walk across the stage, which the countdown has begun for walking across the stage with my bachelor's. I'm getting my bachelor's in human services and my minor in psychology. <laughs> y'all... I feel like this has been a long time coming. I have worked so hard. I feel like getting my degree has been a big goal of mine my entire life. And now that it's here, it's like, what the freak? Like, what's next? What do we do next? But that next step for me is furthering my education even more because I love learning and I don't want to stop at a bachelor's. Hell, I might go all the way to a PhD. I don't know, y'all. But that is the good news, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all stick around. I'm sorry about not posting for so long, y'all. I had so much going on, but we are back, and we are better, and we got a ring light. So, you know, that means better content, better days, better filming sessions. I love you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and I forgot, I do have a give the giveaway winner. The giveaway winner you know who you are because literally only one person signed up for the giveaway. So you can email me or DM me on Instagram or whatever for that information, for your um information to get the book. But other than that, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> y'all, what was that? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Love you. Bye. Oh,